sorry. And in fact, actually, I, it's, it's what I would read normally. It's, it's genre fiction, it's horror. I'm a big fan of Richard Matheson. But talking about significance, I think, I think The Dreamers is the more important text. But um, to who? Who are you defining as it being important to? I think, I think, honestly, it's important to all Australians. It deals with issues so universal to us as Australian people, context of Aboriginal people, issues that still surround us to this day. I think that affects everyone. Really? Because looking at it, I mean, it's a very niche audience. I mean, how many, how, what, what percentage do you know of Australians are actually Aboriginal? Uh, I don't know. To be I honest, I know it's actually 1.6, so you really should have come a little better prepared. 1.6% <laughs> of people in Australia are of Aboriginal descent. Um, whereas if you're looking at the idea of the effects of xenophobia, you're looking at real relevance, you're talking about social change, which I think is how you're defining, mm -hmm. am I right, significance here? It's one of the aspects, yeah. Then, um, well, you're holding a little back there. <laughs> then you've got to think about significance has to have impact on a wider scale. So you're saying that the Dreamers is significant because it addresses historical aspects of Aboriginality, but I'm saying... What about our really necessary political issues now, such as the massive xenophobia that's raised, risen in our society? I mean, the idea that people fleeing persecution quite legally in their own country coming here uh, experience such enormous xenophobia. We describe them as parasitic. We describe them as, as, as a threat to our society of terrorists, despite the fact that there is actually zero correlation between people coming to our country and, and domestic terrorist attacks. I would much rather look at something like I Am Legend, where we look inside the idea of a xenophobe, inside the, the personality of a xenophobe, and we can actually address that more generally. I think that has wider impact on our society. It makes us look at our lack of empathy as a society. And I think having that distance of time of 50 years or 40 years gives us enough distance that we can examine it without all the emotion that comes up with the dreamers. I think that our emotional investment in the dreamers as non-Aboriginal people makes it so much harder for us to connect with it because we're so defensive. Whereas if we look at something like I Am Legend, we can also apply it to the um, Caucasian and non-Aboriginal xenophobia towards Aboriginal people. Eventually, it doesn't exclude looking at that, but it's just so narrow, it doesn't deal with our needs now. I don't know, perhaps. I, I think that emotional investment that we have in the, tax, in the text of the Dreamers, though, adds to the significance and why it is such an important text. You picked on, you put a good point there that there are uh, 1.6% of the population is Aboriginal. And I think perhaps that's actually a reason why we should be studying the dreamers. I don't know many Aboriginal people myself. And therefore, I think it's really hugely important that I learn as much as I can, that I can connect with other people. And I think one of the fundamental aspects of being, a, being human is connecting with other people with empathy. And I think books and literature and plays are one of really the best ways that we can do that, that we can put ourselves in someone else's skin and understand what they're going through. And in the end, I think we only have each other. And so I think it's of huge monumental importance that we understand those in our own country who lived here first, who's we are we still affect in certain ways. So I think it's it's important that we we learn about them perhaps because we know so little about their culture, or perhaps because we connect uh, we don't connect with them in that way. But is it true that we really know so very little about Aboriginal culture, or is that kind of a very, very comfortable left-wing perception that in itself is quite patronising, because it's ignoring the amount of work that Aboriginal people actually within their society do towards education? I mean, the Dreamers itself is um, a result of that 1960s, 70s, Kent Embassy Aboriginal activist point of view, and they're very clear on something, that... They don't want you or I to be bringing forward their points of view. They want to do it themselves. So the fact that we're bringing their work into a, a, a sanitised, non-Aboriginal environment, discussing it, is another example of treating them like they're some sort of anthropological uh, object rather than actually really sincerely dealing with something that important. I also have to take issue because you've not addressed one of my initial points, which is that your text will only look at Aboriginal Australians, really. My text will look at that and all the others as well. So, I mean, you could... <coughs> I mean, if you were to really, really stretch it, I Am Legend, the fear of the central character in I Am Legend, that Caucasian, Western, capitalist perspective, is based on the knowledge that it's 
inauthentic because basically that they, they are aware of the fact that a, that a society can be superimposed by another because of what the experience of the uh, American Indians. So you can actually have a look at where that guilt and that fear comes from. And certainly he does hint at that at the end where he eventually accepts his transition within his culture. And in a way, you could make the comparison between Aboriginal culture and that fear and that gradual acceptance of the replacement of their culture and the, the distress that feels and Aboriginal Australia. So I don't feel that the study of I Am Legend excludes an understanding of Aboriginal Australia. That's a good point. Are we done? Is that, was that the beep I heard before? Okay, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> so there we go. I'm done being flattened by Miss London. Can we all give a round of applause? <laughs> no.